Okay, welcome back to my let's play of uh, Final Fantasy 14 on the PC. Last time we did a, a trial. There were some cartoonishly evil villains up to some shenanigans. And we killed uh, a moon goddess. And then Gosetsu shaved his head and went off to be a pilgrim. And that's where we're at. Under the moonlight. I think it's time we were going, don't you? We've done all we can here, and we have a lot to report. But before we head back to the Rising Stones, let's call in at Ralgar's Reach. We should be the ones to tell Lisa about Xenos. After everything we went through together, we owe her that. Head back to the Rising Stones. I mean, it, like, the Rising Stones feels like a place we visit, not like our headquarters. I can't remember the last time we went there. I fly in Ralgar's reach. What sorcery do you use to bind me to the ground? Bang! Alize, you're back! Hmm? No Alphano? It's good to see you, Lise. As for my headstrong brother, he's off on what will almost certainly turn out to be a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Garlemald. It's a long story, but we have evidence that Xenos might still be alive. What? But that's... If this is a joke... Gods, this had better be a joke. Afraid not. Afraid not. Look, I know what I saw, right? We all saw it. And here you are saying he's alive and well and living the high life back in Garlemald. I know how ludicrous this sounds. I'm still having difficulty believing it myself. But while I might doubt the word of an Imperial envoy, I'm inclined to trust Manx. He saw the Crown Prince through the Echo, in a meeting that could only have taken place in the recent past. It was him. It was Xenos. Or a clone. Probably a clone. I'm thinking a clone. No, it must have been... I don't know. Some kind of really convincing imposter. Xenos is dead. He, had his, he had a great big hole in his neck. We buried him. Aye, and someone went to the trouble of desecrating the bastard's grave, remember? Halls. Gilded halls. Whatever are you talking about? Ah, uh, Thancred. Thancred? What brings you to the Reach? Alphano had me lending a hand at the Psaltery keeping an eye on the rebuilding work and so on, just until operations were up and running. Now that they are, I thought I might look in, I might look in on you before wending my weary way back to headquarters. Forgive me if I misheard, but is there some suggestion that the late Crown Prince could have gotten better? If so, might I suggest a quick look inside his coffin as our first order of business? Ugh, as much as I hated the man, it doesn't feel right to filing his grave. But if it will put this rumor to rest, I suppose we have to. And when there are no curious eyes about, and when there are no curious eyes about, if we can manage it. Xenos is buried up at Bloodhow in the locks. His grave was set apart from the others and left unmarked, so as to not upset the locals. And it shouldn't be too hard to find. Nago, you're in charge until I get back. Blood how I mean they buried like everyone? Why wouldn't they just have like some mass grave or I don't know, a giant funeral pyre or, I don't know. They buried this like fucking monster in his own little grave? 
Yes. Look, you have a giant funeral pyre right here. Throw the bodies on there. Ah, that's pretty cool. What if I fly into the flames? Oh my god! Uh... Okay. Sorry. Here it is. Oh my god, they even put a stone on top and everything. This is it. Gods, he'd better be in there. Someone scrawled over the stone a while ago, but I had it scrubbed off and thought no more about it. So no one thought to check if the coffin was still occupied. Well then, we are presented with one but what with with but one course of action. And we'd best be sure we are not observed in the doing of it. Shall we begin? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not going to be there. We all we all know that. Oh dear, we seem to be missing a corpse. Well, it must be somewhere. I only hope it isn't walking around. Dinian. There's no corpse, then. Are we to conclude the rumors are true? Not necessarily. We might still be dealing with a doppelganger of some kind. An agent could have been sent to dispose of the body in a bid to lend credence to the tale of Xenos' resurrection. More and more, however, I find myself siding with Alphino's theory of Asian possession. Speaking from experience, I can tell you they have no qualms about taking a living host, let alone a dead one. You're saying an Asian is walking around in Xenos' body? It seems a distinct possibility. Once I put this grave back the way we found it, I shall pay a visit to the people responsible for interring the crown prince. Before leaping any conclusions, I want to know for sure if a body was ever buried here, and how certain we are that Xenos was properly dead. If he wasn't, that was some trick. He as good as cut his own head off. Anyway, Rauba needs to hear about this. If you find anything out, send word to me at Ralgar's Reach. <sighs> I don't know why I'm surprised. With matters settling down in Doma, we were due another crisis. Shall we make for the Rising Stones, then? It's past time we shared these developments with the others. Oh my god, that teleport is so juicy. While I was waiting for you to arrive, I spoke with Arrange over LinkPro and gave him a full report. Yashtola is on her way, and she should be here any... Ah. Alizé? Mang? Tis good to see you safe and well. What news have you from the East? Disturbing developments indeed. Given all that we know, I too would conclude that an Asian now inhabits Xenos' body. A doppelganger might fool the Crown Prince's subordinates, but Mang? Nay, Alphino had the right of it. Would that his wisdom extended to the question of his own safety. Capable though he has become, he ventures alone into the enemy's stronghold, and the shadowy web of the Paragons like as not.
When it comes to making rash decisions, I'm hardly in a position to criticize, but... I'm worried. I just wish there was something I could do for him besides pray. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. We cannot suffer icons to exist. Was I not clear on this point? It's actually the first time I've ever had to voice Xenos, believe it or not. More than clear. The icon in question was summarily dispatched by the Warrior of Light. The summoner is dead and the right beyond repeating. Everything proceeded according to plan. Every party behaving exactly as required. My methods may seem extreme, but there is no cause for concern. I work only to ensure the salvation of this star. What are you doing fiddling with that thing? I asked you a question, soldier. What are you? Have you lost your mind? Ah! I have lost many things, but my mind is yet my own. There upon the stage I stood, prepared to take my final bow only to find that the finale was but an intermission. Shall I use this chance to repent for my sins, embrace goodness and mediocrity? Nay, I think not. While the one I yearn to face yet lives, the hunt must go on. I was pretty sure that was Astinian. Now I'm not so sure. Now I don't know what to think. It's just too many mysteries going on. Mysteries on top of mysteries. Oh, lunar cycle. Take a look. Under the moonlight. That's a title. Under the Moonlight. That's not a title. No one's calling you that. No one's calling me Mang Under the Moonlight. Mang Under the Moonlight Mang. That's... Like... Mike Under the Moonlight Tyson. Like, no, that's... No, I don't think so. Emissary of the Dawn. It's been an eventful few days, hasn't it? But I suppose all we can do now is wait for word from Alphano. Hmm. I don't recall the last time I had nothing pressing to be getting on with. We should probably make the most of it. Shall I put on some tea? Tea would be lovely. You may regale me with the tale of your adventures in the Far East, and of your encounter with this new primal especially. I'll put the kettle on then. That table looks free if you'd like to take a seat. Upon sitting at the table, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh my god, we just started this quest! What the fuck? That's probably like the whole quest. Or this is a really long quest. Uh, alright. Sure. 
Said it. I mean, what choice do we have? Interesting. So this Sukuyomi was summoned in much the same manner as Susano, via the medium of a sacred relic. That's right. They believe their gods, or kami, reside in physical objects. Given the danger they represent, it may behoove us to begin a catalog of such relics, but if we are to contain the threat, we will require a better understanding of the summoning method itself. I believe I shall pay a visit to Doma and learn what I can on the subject. A fine idea, and I know for a fact that our friends in Doma would be grateful for any information which could help to prevent further summoning in the region. I will pen you a letter of introduction. Lord Hian will wish to welcome our resident expert on etherology. Greetings. Could it be that I'm in time for tea? It certainly looks that way. Come on, sit down and tell us how your investigations went. After you left, I went about questioning Bloodhouse gravekeepers. They all told much the same story. Once Lee and her officers had confirmed Xenos dead, his corpse was interred under strict supervision. There seems little reason to doubt their testimony on that point, but when I mentioned the defacement of Xenos' grave, accounts grew rather more vague. None reported having seen any suspicious persons in the vicinity, and all assumed the act to have been perpetrated by a vengeful Alamegan. Crucially, however, I was able to confirm that when the offending scrawl was removed, as per Lisa's instruction, no one involved thought to check the contents of the coffin. By that stage, tis like that the corpse was already missing. Assuming Xenos has not, in fact, risen from the dead, we are left with two possibilities. Either the body was disposed of to lend credence to the claims of an extremely committed imposter, or an Assian has taken up residence within it. If Asahi was as fervent a devotee as you believe, he would not have been fooled by an impersonation, however committed. We must assume that we are dealing with an Assian, and proceed accordingly. Agreed. The question is, how many more such monsters are waiting for Alphano and Garlemald? Their presence was his chief reason for going. He understood the risks. I only hope he did not underestimate the extent of the infestation. Meanwhile, on the Imperial Hypersonic Assault Craft... I don't know, what is that? 20, 30, 50? 50 maybe? Was that like 85 then? I, I don't know. Maybe it was 85. I don't, I'm not good with Roman numerals. We don't use a whole lot of them. We ditched them a while back. In Rome. Master Alpha, no. We are making good speed towards our destination. Is ought to miss. Nay, hey, tis just... I can see naught from my cabin, and was curious to know the land over which we flew. Ah, I'm afraid our military craft are built with little thought for such niceties. I'm happy to indulge your curiosity, however. We are presently passing over the burn on the western edge of Othard. Even with the benefit of a porthole, your gaze would have been greeted with naught but malms upon malms of lifeless earth. I have read something of the burn. It was described as a desolate wasteland, bled dry of every last drop of ether. Aye, it is believed that a succession of icon summonings were res responsible. When Emperor Solus first came to Othar and beheld this blight, he is said to have reeled at the scale of the devastation. He declared icons a threat to our very star's existence, and issued an empire-wide decree ordering the eradication of all such entities. <laughs> Report! Order attack, sir. Magitech armor. No visible designation. Magitech? But who? Ah! All cannons. Return fire. Damage report. Main reactor's been hit. Helm unresponsive. We're going down, sir. Damn it. They knew exactly where to hit us. All hands. Brace for impact.
That's not good. Glad to have you back, Master Alphano. We've landed in one piece, more or less. The air filtration system is damaged, and the ship is filling with smoke. We must gather the survivors and get out while we still can. Aye. Aye. Uh, Alright, I guess. Solo duty. Oh my god, we're playing as Alphano. We're playing as a non Lalafell. What the fuck? I'm too tall. But I do have a Moonstone Carbuncle. We got Rune 3 Physic Tri Shackle, which is a really shitty AoE. And Starstorm, which is a really fucking insane AoE. All right. Oh. Okay. Revive him. My thanks. I don't think I would have made it. Ugh. 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 Yes, he very likely saved his life. The question of who would try to take it remains, however. Oh my god. The prince. Okay, there we go. AoE. AoE. No, it's probably not worth it to AoE. It's also not worth it to fight the commander. Okay, I'll heal myself. I just sit here and smash the same button over and over. I mean, it's like playing a scholar, I guess. Oh boy. There you have it. Found it. Not here. Not like this. Damn. What? Who in the Emperor's name? Enemies of our enemies. Introductions can wait. You're calm in a crisis, Master Alphano. Let us finish this, then.
Yeah, I mean, it's really just sort of... This guy's pretty crazy. You just smash the buttons. Just smash the buttons. Look at that cool attack. I mean, this is something that probably could have just been handled with just a cutscene. I don't know if I really need to play as Alphano. Uh, oh, this is... Okay, but that won't... No, that wouldn't hit. That wouldn't hit at all. Now, yeah, there you go. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Duty complete. My thanks. Your intervention proved most timely. Well, well. I did not think to meet an Eorzean in this place, let alone a Scion. You know of me, sir. I have some small... History with your order. But I would speak of the present. Know you your assailants and the severity of your predicament. The soldiers bore the insignia of the Emperor's personal guard. And I could venture a guess as to their motive. But you yet have us at a disadvantage, sir. Will you not tell us who you are? Our names are not yours for the asking, and as for our purpose, let this be your answer. An Asian mask? Face of our prey. Must away before more arrive. Come with us or stay, but make your choice now. Even should we manage the long trek out of the burn and secure passage to the capital, we would no doubt be greeted by the Emperor's guard. Indeed. We accept your gracious offer, uh... Shadow Hunter will suffice for the present. a little edgy come it's a little it's a little 13 year old sort of xbox live shadow hunter 007 uh, uh, but okay it's final fantasy damn dude this guy's just a butcher
Ugh, this is intolerable. But as much as I wish it were otherwise, there's nothing we can do for Alphano now but pray for his success. Well, that is not entirely true. While your brother journeys to Garlemald from the east, I could make my way there from Alamigo and find out what there is to be learned in the Empire's western provinces. Then I'm coming with you. I can't very well sit here sipping tea if there's action to be taken. Forgive me, Alizé, but the provinces are hostile territory, and stealth is all important. It is safer that I go alone. I can sneak well enough when the situation demands it. Don't patronize me. I'll go with him. And how exactly would that be any better? I'm very tiny. <clears throat> I must refuse your company as well, my friend. Formidable though you are, the success of my mission depends on moving unnoticed. And lest you forget, you've grown rather famous. I trust you understand. Fine. Just you promise you'll be careful. It seems that praying is to be the extent of my contribution, after all. But I will stay behind, as I have been bid. We all have our talents. Mine just happened to involve a silver tongue and soft souls. I promise to send word the moment I learn aught of consequence. See that you notify me too. I mean to depart for Doma as soon as I find a suitable East Aldenard vessel to bear me thither, but I shall return if I am needed. Be sure to drop in whenever you're next in the area, Mang. With any luck, I'll have a painfully detailed report from Alphano to share. Ponder. Alright, so that is the end of 4.3. Which lets us move right into 4.4. Oh, Mang, if you've come here hoping for news, I'm afraid there isn't any. Everything is exactly as it was. Yashtola is still investigating primals in the Far East. Thancred is still gathering intelligence in the Imperial Provinces, and Alphano is still out there somewhere. There's been no word since his first scheduled report, nor does he respond to calls. And all the while, I'm just meant to sit around here waiting. It's driving me mad. Begging your pardons, I bear a message from the Aeorzean Alliance. Thank the gods for that. We have a visitor. Welcome to the Rising Stones. If you have a message, I should be most eager to hear it. My lady, the Alliance leadership will soon convene to discuss the matter of Asian interference, and they humbly request the presence of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. Having assessed intelligence provided by the Alamegan Resistance concerning the whereabouts of Xenos' remains, they too suspect Assian involvement, and wish to deliberate a suitable course of action. As the foremost authorities on our foe, your Order's Council would be most welcome. Of course, we should be glad to assist in whatever way we can. With almost everyone else afield, I'd say this one falls to us, by which I mean I'm not going on my own. You'll come with me, I trust. I'd rather not. If you if you would rather not, how do you think I feel? I despise formal occasions, as you well know. But in the absence of Alphano and the others, we'll just have to grin and bear it, won't we? Yeah, you really I don't have any choices. Well, there you have it. We accept the invitation. Thank you. The time and date of the meeting will be shared in due course, but I can confirm that the council will take place in Alamigo. By your leave. I somehow doubt we'll, still, uh, we'll have anything useful to offer, but standing mutely at a meeting would still be better than the nothing I've been doing of late. Let's make ready to depart, shall we? Thancred, what's going on, man? Alright, just be careful on the road back, you hear? Did I hear right, Riel? Is Thancred coming back? 
All right, that he is. Says he's acquired some important intelligence. Being in Garlean territory, though, he couldn't risk sharing the particulars in case the Imperials were listening in. So he said he'd head back as quick as he could and to make sure someone was waiting for him in the Alamegan quarter. Understood. Mang and I will go. We're bound for Alamigo anyway, and there's sure to be time before the council begins. Come on, let's be off. Well, that's very all very convenient. Everything was convenient. Good. Better convenient than inconvenient. Alamegan Quarter. You two are a sight for sore eyes. Now all I need is water for my parched throat. Fetch me a cup, will ya? Traipsing through Imperial territories, thirsty work. Uh, God, I needed that. I won't bother telling you to catch your breath. Whatever brought you galloping back to us, I assume it's urgent. Quite. Without further ado, then. After the successful uprisings in Doma and Alamigo, rebels in several other provinces were inspired to follow suit. Unfortunately, they did not fare quite so well. The Dalmascans paid the heaviest price. For their defiance, the Emperor made a show of raising their capital to the ground, prompting many of their neighbors to abandon thoughts of resistance. But not all have given up on liberty. Heartened by the news of Doma's prisoner exchange, some still believe that the Empire may one day be amenable to negotiation. We have the Shinobi to thank for spreading the good word. They have worked tirelessly to keep the subjugated informed, and a little knowledge can go a long way. There is at least a spark of hope then. A spark in want of kindling, yes. The Alliance has already begun supplying materiel to resistance movements abroad, many of whom would otherwise struggle to continue the fight. The support effort has been led by the Sultana and the Elder Seedseer, who have both seen enough Alamegan refugees to know the consequences of oppression. And for their troubles, they have quickly earned a reputation as folk heroes in certain corners of the Empire. That is all for the provinces. As for the Garlean motherland itself. Our friends, the Populares, have suffered something of a setback, I regret to say. Talk is rife that Doma has summoned a primal, and the Empire's more liberal voices are being drowned out in the fearful clamor for retribution. And who do they think orchestrated this summoning? <laughs> oh any but those truly responsible. Xenos has seen to that. Speaking of whom, the Crown Prince is recovering remarkably well. Well enough, in fact, to enable him to personally tour the provinces, putting the fear of the Emperor into the hearts of any would-be dissidents. He walks in plain sight, and none suspect him. Then it's as we feared. Yes, an Assian wears his skin. But it was not that which brought me here in such haste. During my time in the provinces, I learned many things. Yet at no point did I hear any report of a Doman emissary in the capital. But Albano should have arrived by now. Could they be holding in there in secret? The possibility did cross my mind, but I have reason to believe he never reached his destination. As you know, 
Scions assigned to covert operations, such as Riol and myself, are issued special link pearls for communication in the event of an emergency. I mention this because it was originally Alfino's task to coordinate the response at headquarters, meaning he has one. And whose voice should I hear when mine recently crackled to life? You spoke with Alfano? Spoke with? No. I but heard his voice, and none too clearly at that. Two words were all I could make out. The burn. The wasteland on the edge of Othard. Something must have happened to them there. There's no time to waste. We must make for the burn at once. I had a feeling you might say that. And? I can't very well sit around here drinking tea if Alphano's in trouble. You said yourself that this link pill was only to be used in emergencies. So I'm going, and that's the end of it. Oh, far be it from me to change your minds. Alright, to the burn. Shadowbringers take place in Garlemald? I mean, where? I don't know. I don't know. Though I am to neglect making preparations for the council, we must act swiftly before Alphano's trail goes cold. I propose we first pay Hien a visit. He's sure to want to hear about these developments, and he may well be able to advise us on how best to reach the burn. A sound plan, and Yashtola is in Doma, is she not? I dare say she'd join you in the search if you asked her nicely. While you see to all that, I shall go and report my findings to the Alliance. You may leave any preparations for the Council to me. Thank you, Thancred. Right, to Doma then. We have much and more to share with Yashtola. All right, back to Doma. Another thousand bucks. Are the Scions paying for this shit? That is curious indeed. While other matters demand my attention at present, I shall bear what you have told me in mind. Should you notice any change, do not hesitate to seek me out. Thank you, my lady. You are most kind. Oh well, two faces from the dim and distant past. Come now, it hasn't been that long. Who is that you are speaking with? A local miner who supplies crystals for the rebuilding effort. Of late, he claims to have struggled to find a crystal with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Upon learning that I had some knowledge of ether, he came seeking my counsel. Just now, he brought me one of his recent finds. It was precisely as he described, devoid of elemental energy, and eerily reminiscent of the de-aspected crystals that manifested in Eorzea in the days prior to the Calamity. We would be wise to investigate this phenomenon more closely. Indeed, but on a more positive note, the locals seem to have taken a liking to you. More an interest in than a liking to, I think. The sight of a Mikote with a peculiar contraption upon her head has a certain novelty value in these parts. Any actual regard they may have for me, I owe wholly to you and the others who came before. Everyone here has been exceedingly cooperative, and I am pleased to report that I have all but concluded my investigation. Simply put, by focusing one's will upon an ether-infused object of worship, it is possible to conduct a summoning. So the fact that they are objects of worship is the key. They are themselves suffused with a requisite belief. 
Correct. Such sacred relics as the Kojin Collect obviate the need for religious fervor in the summoner, Yatsuyu being the most obvious example. She had but to associate the artifact given to her by Asahi with the Divine, and it served to amplify her desires and give them form. A form nourished through the power of crystals, also provided by her brother, and thus was Sukuyomi Suko, Sukuyomi brought into being. Which brings me to the question of preventative measures, to which I have yet to find a satisfactory answer. At present, I know of naught that will avail us, save to keep watch over the movement of relics and crystals, as if we did not have enough to keep watch over already. But I doubt you came all this way to hear that which may be perused in a report. Has something happened to Alphano? As it starts to rain. Hmm. I shall join you in the search, of course. Thank you, Yeshtola. I shall be glad of your help, truly. Now, if there's nothing else, I shall go on ahead and request an audience with Lord Hian. Alizé puts on a brave face, but she has little talent for concealment. We should join her in the King Khan. Greetings, my friend. Alizé has explained all to me. Needless to say, you shall have our full cooperation in the search, even if Alphano's trail does lead to the burn of all places. Bogman. Uh, okay. Papanazi. Donut slathered with creamy cheese and sweet and tart berry sauce. Mm, 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 mm. I'd like the sound of that. I'm going to eat that right now. Feel the burn. The region known as the Burn occupies a special place in Garlean history. Every child in the Empire is familiar with the tale. In the distant past, it was a verdant land teeming with life, but successive summonings saw it bled dry of ether and reduced to a desert. It was upon beholding the devastation that primals had wrought that Emperor Solus was spurred to embark upon his crusade against their kind. Burn offers a glimpse of the future we seek to prevent. Know you of any reason why Elphino might have gone there? Aye, mischance. Though it lies on the route to Garlemald, there is no place to make a stop. My guess is they encountered some manner of trouble there. In any event, I am of the same mind as Alizé. We have no choice but to take our search to the burn. Given the considerate distances, considerable distances involved, tis best we went by bird. Mang and I have our yoles. Yugiri, will you ready falcons for the others? I shall gather our swiftest birds. Near the House of the Fierce, there is an overlook. Pray join us there once you have seen to your preparations. Feel the burn! Everyone is here and possessed of a bird. Let us away. Remember, our destination is a barren wasteland. There is no civilization to speak of for a hundred moms in all directions. Take care, you do not lose your way. Yeah, it's a dungeon. It is a dungeon. It is not an area that we are going to, going to traverse, but it sounds like a cool dungeon. It's just a desert. Uh, all right, real quick here. We got three bosses. Uh, there are crystals on the ground that serve as shields for some of the boss's attacks. Uh, if you get a crosshair on, you go behind a crystal. Uh, mm -hmm. shard fall, stand behind a crystal. Then he does another attack. You want to go get close to him afterwards. 
uh, shard strike, spread out, but don't be near any crystals because you don't want to hurt them. Second boss. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Basically, just a lot of positioning and moving. Uh, five small drones. You want to go towards the one that has no lights above it and is sparking. Okay. Third boss, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I'll miss something here in the speed read. Okay. Uh, ads, kill the ads. Kill more ads. When there's fog, you want to stay out of the center of the arena. Sounds all pretty simple. We're ready to go with the Astrologian. Let's feel the burn. It should look pretty cool. The third boss is Mist Dragon, which is uh, from Final Fantasy IV. So that's pretty cool. Make ready, friends! We are come to the burn! Everyone, land where you can! We must wait out the storm! something we have a dancer and a red mage um, with a paladin tank which means that I don't have a melee DPS so I have to redraw shit Slap that on. Let's uh, scoop up here. There we go. Yes, it's not, uh, it's not blowing me away. Let's slap it down. Oh, wait, wait, don't slap it down yet. Moving, we're moving again. Shit. What a waste. Make up your mind, goddammit. Okay, let's, uh... 
Do this. Do this. Shit. Do this. Cleanse that. Okay. Good. Good. Oh my god. All right. First boss. Basically, stand behind a crystal for pretty much everything except for shard strike. Shard strike, you don't want to. Redraw, redraw, redraw. Thank you. That's not targeting me, so we don't have to worry. And yeah, after a crystal get hit, gets hit, it explodes. That's why we don't want to... This will work. And then you got to get out of there. Oh, and then you got to move in. Oh, shit. We're good. We're good. New crystals coming in. All right, let's get, uh, no, come on. All right. All right, I'm just gonna fucking do that. Can't avoid it, so just don't take out the crystals. Okay, good, good, good. And that's that. Easy boss. Easy boss, if you know what you're doing. This is all garbage shit. All right, now suddenly we're in this like Magitech facility. Quick change. No, oh, don't step out of the fucking... Don't step out of my... Damn it. Because nobody knows all, like, the AoEs and all the abilities of every job and what to stand in and what to move out of. And... Damn it. That's why you gotta have a group that you talk to. That's the best way. Okay, almost went down that hole. Some of that going on. Really uh, bum rush in this place. Yep. 
yep, yep, yep. Plenty of materia dropping that I'll never use and will likely just be discarded. Okay, are you standing there? Are you wait? No, no, no. Okay, you went and got the chest and fucked over my AoE. Okay. Well, maybe something. Okay, we got like one guy. Great. Grand. Why does this tank need to move so much? The ADHD or something. That's not what I want. I don't want an ADHD tank. Where's the filter for that in the duty finder? All right, so second boss is the one with just a bunch of positioning. There are different lanes and stuff. So when the different drones appear, we got to stick with the one that's like sparking. And you've got to get in that lane. Mm, you can sleeve draw. That. Divination. Okay, divination right is it? Uh, okay, it's this one. That was a shitty divination on my part. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to do that so quick. Person wants to be standing there. Oh, okay, worked out. Alright. Actually, our damage is pretty good. Our single target damage is pretty good. Between the red mage and the, the dancer. Especially the red mage. I don't want any of this garbage. Ah, look at this place. That's cool. Get back here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why are you moving so fast? Why can't I heal you? Oh, my God. Give me a fucking heart attack. This is a dungeon. It's so weird. I just don't think of places like this as a dungeon, but that's just the generic term. It can really be anything. Side of the a fucking massive AoE, I can't even get to you.
got it all under control. We're an astrologian. I mean, this is a, this is this is what we do. We can handle it. We don't have to depend on no fucking fairy to help us out. It's all on us. Quit picking up your damn loot. 355, 350 ass is more like it. Does not seem like a tank that's going to wait for me. And if they die, then <laughs> that's on them. I'm sorry your ADHD cripples you in situations like this. And you can't help but charge in without your healer. No, okay. I was just saying all that shit. Alrighty. Whoa. Cool. Start off with divination. Redraw, redraw. There we go. Actually, I might as well fucking sleeve draw. Okay. Fucking pounded on the damage. Oh, yeah, you don't want to hit the miss. I definitely got screwed on that one. Jesus. Okay, I see how that works. I will free you. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, don't stand in it. Please don't stand in that. That's not going to be pretty. Okay, we're good. Good. Okay, you're... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Someone please free the tank. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Divination. Fuck. This is where it goes down the center, so you just want to be off to the side. Yep. Okay. Let's finish this bitch. Ow. And that is it. Nice. Cool location. And we got to fight the Mist Dragon from Final Fantasy IV. Which... Is the second one? It's the second one from IV that I've noticed. But I'm not an expert on IV. So it's possible there's other ones. I don't want any of that bullshit. Three commendations! Ah, there you are. 
between contending with bloodthirsty beasts and sand in my every conceivable place, I had begun to despair of finding you again. Do you recognize the crashed ship over yonder? Mistress Alizé and I briefly inspected it. It is the vessel that bore Master Alphino away. But there was no sign of him, nor of Maxima and his people. War Machina. It would seem they were involved in a struggle. There may be clues. We should split up and search the area. These were no ordinary soldiers. Over here! The insignia on this man's uniform identifies him as one of the Emperor's personal guard. Hand-picked soldiers, answering only to the royal family. That would explain why all the casualties are Garlean. They were fighting their own. You're saying the Emperor was behind all this? That Alphano is his prisoner? We don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. Aye, we must not jump to conclusions. Besides, Alphano is more than capable of looking after himself, is he not? I suggest we return to Doma to consider our options. Whatever happened here, Master Alphano is long gone, and any subsequent search may safely be left in the hands of the Shinobi. Where in the world are you, brother? If you die on me, I will never let you hear the end of it. Well, that was a decidedly uneventful journey. I almost found myself hoping for a sandstorm. Joking aside, I'd say our birds are due for a good brush down and, and a treat or two, wouldn't you? Alrighty. Cool dungeon. Uh, there's one more dungeon before we hit Shadowbringers. And, uh... Well, a total of, uh... 11 quests otherwise. So we're pretty close. I'm still not exactly sure what direction Shadowbringers is taking. We might be going into uh, uh, Garlemald. Although I feel like that would sort of be like a final expansion kind of thing. So I don't know. That might not be the case. But for now, my name is Mang. Game watching has been Final Fantasy XIV. See you fine folks in the next part.